Well, tonight's show is going to be good, but first things first, we have things, some things going on. If you are, if you roamed the world of Mega 64 this past week, um, then you know, then you know what you did and you know what we did. Uh, we put out a new video this past week. We did a video about the Deadpool movie. Um, this, true. you know, some, some weeks we do, yeah. you know, kind of a written sketch. Some weeks we do maybe something out in public, but some mm -hmm. weeks we just show real, real shit. Yeah. And this week was just a legit, I mean, Realness. pretty much a documentary. Keeping um, it real. There was a sick kid out there who wanted to see the Deadpool movie before they went and they hooked it up and I think it was touching. I don't really even think there's anything funny about the video. It's just kind of, you know, something, uh, affecting. Yeah. And real. I agree. I don't find anything funny about the video either. Uh, yeah. Me neither. I feel like I had to sell my soul a little bit to put that Why? fucking costume on. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Sean was in the costume. For I... <laughs> what? I, I hate... I hate Deadpool... But I honestly, I'm going to be real, I don't know Deadpool that much. I don't know much about Deadpool. I know he breaks the fourth wall. I know he says cocks a lot. But I don't really know much about him. I fucking hate Deadpool. But I hate Deadpool cosplayers 10,000 times more yeah, that's, than I hate Deadpool. That's probably the origin of the hate. That is the origin. I'll yeah. tell you right now, 100%. Yeah. I knew nothing of this until this fucking epidemic of these cosplayers started coming to these conventions and yeah. every single time there's a fucking bit and if you're a Deadpool cosplayer I'm talking to you you think you're so fucking funny when you go to these conventions and you do all these fucking humping trash cans or you wait in line for half an hour to tell me that you have to go to the bathroom without this is the line for the bathroom you have this whole fucking thing because you're the comedian you're the funny guy you wear a fucking you know a Spider-Man mask and you're Deadpool you're not fucking funny you're not funny. I'm sorry. I see this shit all the fucking time. You're not the only one who does this. A lot of fucking people do it. Knock that shit off. Anyways, so I had to put that fucking costume on and I just became everything that I hated. And so, it was tough. Well, um, well we should say, the whole premise of the video yeah. even stemmed from the fact that all the public information about Deadpool that we saw in front of us was that. Yes. It was, yes, um, yes. when you go online and, 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 uh, you'd see people writing about the movie or, or cosplayers or whatever, the public facing thing that we saw was humping trash cans or a joke about yes. shitting or tacos. Yes. And so that was the premise was that they make the video, that they make this movie based on just what they've heard about Deadpool. Right. Instead of right. digging into it. And yeah. And so basically... What I wanted to do was vent my frustration about the Deadpool cosplayers, more so than even the Deadpool movie, which will spawn many more Deadpool cosplayers who are going to be really fucking funny. But I just really wanted to just let everyone see what I'm seeing at every convention that we do. We, I see this, I mean, I'm stuck at this booth for, you know, 10 hours a day, and I'm looking at this constantly. So I see people humping shit and rolling around the ground and going like this and going like this with their butt. I see that stuff. And I just wanted, we might make a video just kind of showing what this is. I feel like the vibe got real dark as soon as Sean started talking. Sorry. I had a lot of fun filming that video. Hey. That was a fun, that was uh, a weird yeah. fun day just... that we, like where we were making each other laugh with the worst, most base humor because we went, that fits. And it was a lot of fun. I completely agree with you. And I was laughing the entire time, although I was like feeling stupid. You know, humping a porta potty, something like that. Like it, I, we were laughing for sure, and I did have fun doing it because we were just making each other laugh. But well, there you go. Now you see the charm of being Deadpool. Yeah, oh, I think I, you came around. Yeah, oh. you had fun being Deadpool, so now oh. you can kind of put yourself in the shoes of all the cosplayers, maybe. It, it it was. I couldn't. I can't explain to you. Like, we do a lot of base humor. It was so base. No, I disagree. Well, maybe you're right, but we have done it before. But it was so easy to do this because if i ever asked me to do it, i would just hump whatever i was around <laughs> and there it is it's so fucking easy to do that no wonder why everyone does I think, it i think what sold i think what sold at least me i'm not speaking for anybody else me on the idea of doing this video is when we talked about yeah okay the sick kid wants to see a movie 
Well, kind of like that Star Wars situation. Right, which but, I should say, people thought we were making fun of that kid. No, not at all. That happens for almost every movie. Yeah, where exactly. The studio will show I someone thought, I thought it was bad, bad spot. I thought it was badass they showed him Star Wars. Like, that was really neat. And I never want people to think we are ever making fun of that person no. or any person who's dying who wanted no, to I a was, movie. I was. Oh, he was. I, I was wasn't. making fun of that kid. <laughs> I, didn't, they, I didn't get a chance to show it off, but I was. I yeah. got him. Well, there you go. Uh, but anyway, uh, we. I just thought I was. I was just attracted to the con- the concept of what if somebody wanted to see a really bizarre movie before they went, and then it got all fucked up. Right. Was just a funny concept. And also, he's not even really sick if you watch the whole video. But that's besides the point. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, but what sold me on the video specifically was when we were doing impressions of what the actual fake movie would be. Right. And at one point, I think. By the way, this video was written in the now closed hometown buffet. Yeah. So sure. that was a comedy inspiration. That video S- killed hometown buffet. S- <laughs> sitting in the restaurant booth, at one point, someone went. We were just giving examples of what the fake movie would sound like, and somebody went, <laughs> "Ah, classic Deadpool," <laughs> and that's what sold me on it. Was someone d- d- that? I'm, yeah. I'm bummed out that the line of. Uh, Hey, Mr. President, is this Air Force One? <laughs> oh, now it's Air Force Two. I, I'm, oh, I'm genuinely disappointed oh, that did not yeah, make it in. Cut that. You, yeah, you made that joke on the fly while we were there, and it was like, oh, this is perfect. That's exactly what this needs to be. <laughs> oh, bummer. Hey, you know what I realized about the actual Deadpool movie? Now that it's out, yeah. and I've been thinking about it, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I like Ryan Reynolds. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike Ryan Reynolds. You know Reynolds. what? Like I think he's kind of a loser. Re- really? Uh, frankly, yeah. Um, he was Van Wilder like 15 years ago. That's cool, I guess. What else was he? I thought like it was a movie of his that I liked a lot. I'm trying to think of what that. Oh, I don't like be. any of the roles. Hmm. I just, I just don't hate him as a person. You know? Yeah, but I'm trying to think of like why. I is... feel, the, I feel the exact same way about him as Jim Carrey. No, Jim Carrey's a superstar no, compared to Ryan. I, like, I, have, I, like I don't think he has had one good role at all. Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey? Absolutely. Oh. Jim Carrey will go down in history as one of... I thought, for what? Uh, I, for what? A for what? lot. The Truman the, the Show? The Truman Show? Uh, I thought even Man on the Moon was good. Ace I thought Ventura? The Majestic? Great. Ace Ventura. Yeah. Okay. I think, honestly, Ace Ventura. Hey. I think Jim Carrey uh, is a really talented physical actor. And if you go back and watch some of his early stand-up, I, I, he was doing stuff at that time, which was... Groundbreaking. As stupid as it is now, I think he was pretty important for his time. And I don't think you could say that about Ryan Reynolds. I don't I think Ryan Reynolds is just there. He's like, you know, available to be in a movie. He's not gonna be great. He's not gonna suck. He's a good looking guy, so I would say good this. on him. I could see the Andy Kaufman thing. Yeah, he was good in that. He was that was like Eternal really, Sunshine uh, was yeah. a really good movie he, that yeah. was shot really cool. I like Eternal I did like Eternal Sunshine. It was great. But I just don't think any of his other comedy should yeah, that's fine. Uh I'm trying. Who was in Buried? Was that Ryan Gosling? No, no, that was no, that was what's that, that, was, that, that was Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yeah. That was Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I thought that he was, was awesome great. in that. Yeah, he, that's that a was great movie. That was really good. Yeah, and he was great in that movie. So, you know what? I think that there are so many people who are Ryan Reynolds better than Ryan Reynolds. We don't need Ryan Reynolds. Get him out of here. <laughs> huh. We got Ryan Gosling. We got the we got the good Ryan. Bye bye Ryan Reynolds. You're cool, I would be your friend, but do something else. Interesting. I yeah, know you're watching, I so... I don't have a problem with that. No offense to you, Ryan Reynolds, but... And I really have thought about this Deadpool movie more, and it was a huge hit, and I've heard the reviews were really great. I'm still not going to see it, but I really don't care about the movie one way or the other. You know, it's, it's the same as, as like the next uh, Avenger. Can I say care. something, too, about Jim Carrey? Yes, Rocco, you do. may not like his movies, but don't you appreciate the, the shit that's, he pulls in real life? That's that's what I'm saying. I, that's what I said from the beginning. I really like him as a person. I like Jim Carrey. I don't, I don't like his roles. I don't like the roles in his movies. But, There's maybe one or two. And the same thing, and that's why I said the same thing with Ryan Reynolds. I like him in Buried. And I know there's one other thing I'm forgetting, but otherwise, I like them as people. I just don't care about them. Really. All right. That's well, what I'm saying. There you go. Um, I feel that way about Will Ferrell. Um, I, I like Will Ferrell. I just, he's not in anything that engages me at all. Um, I know there's somebody else. Um, but no, I think these are all really talented guys. I just don't, I don't think they're 
Uh, I like Will Ferrell, playing? but he's become a character caricature of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Which I really like the guy. I like Will Ferrell. Just like I, I but really, like, I really like Jim Carrey. Yeah, I, I think just, once Will yeah. Ferrell uh, was in old school, he realized that's who he should be in every movie. Yeah, yeah. And that was I, just ever since then. He's I been think the there, you know, um, this sounds like more of a knock against Will Ferrell than I intend it to be. But there's a difference between, to me, with someone who is naturally funny and someone who is has to try to be funny. And that's not to say if you try to be funny, you will always fail. I mean, some people come off like, man, you're really trying to be funny. But some people try and succeed. I mean, they have to, but they have to go out of who they are kind of to do it. Will Ferrell, to me, is one of those kinds of people where he has to act. He has to go out of his zone yeah. to be funny. Hey. Yes, to try. I want to see if I want to see if this changes your opinion on Ryan Reynolds because the chat, shouts out to the chat. They're making a good point. He started waiting. I know. Oh yeah, Does that I change know. your opinion at no, all, one way or another. I, I, you, as I said you from like the beginning, him more now. I don't like the roles that he's in. Like I don't him? like the. I don't mind the guy. Is all oh, I'm saying. Thought that would push him in your favor. Anyways, so that's. Was, hey, do another. you think? I'm curious yeah. about this because Deadpool's making a fucking boatload of money on yes, its opening it weekend. Yeah, of course, it's it making is. a ton. Oh, yeah. shocker. It's an R-rated comedy. Yeah. Mad Max was nominated for Best Picture and was an R-rated action movie. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to start seeing more R-rated stuff come out? Yeah. Or do you think that this is just kind of like when uh, The Hangover came out and it was like, oh, an R-rated no. comedy. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what uh, like, do you, do you think it's going to start a trend, well, or do you think it's not, just a couple of outliers? This is this is interesting. Well, you don't pick your rating; you just make your movie. Right, but I feel like this particular movie is going to wake up to a lot of wake up a lot of people because it's an R-rated comedy but it's also a superhero movie that's R-rated and it's making this much money and I think they realize now oh we don't have to worry about the kids so I mean they should because they make more money but like we don't have to really always focus on the kids we can make things more adult themes well, now but also too uh, what people might not remember is about a year ago uh, the movie Kingsman Secret Service uh, yeah. made pretty good money and that was an R-rated action movie. It wasn't even superheroes, and it was really successful. Um, I think between, yeah, all these that are coming out, they yeah, they don't... Honestly, like, to me, the biggest... I mean, when you're making a superhero thing, you still want to... Kids are going to want to see that, so you can't leave them in the dust. Sure. Becca's bum can't see Deadpool. Sure, but I do think the, the one property that blows my mind that they haven't just bumped it into our territory is Wolverine. I don't get why there isn't an R-rated <laughs> Wolverine movie. Like, like, X Men is another story, sure. but Wolverine himself is so inherently. Well, what are they going to add to Wolverine to make it R, like tits and fuck? N no, I mean, <laughs> just the, by the nature of his abilities. I mean, he, he 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 has claws, and I mean, just the violent nature of who he is. Um, they're always holding that back in the movies that come out, and it, it just surprises me that they do that. But that's all. Um, if you read some of the Wolverine comics and stuff, they're just not. I inherently... honestly think though. You could get away with so much violence. I think that's not what pushes it towards R because Lost sure. shot a kid on TV. Yeah. And so sure. I feel like if you can get away with that on TV, like you can do a lot of yeah. violence and in the ABC, movie. no less. So yeah, you're right. But again, too, like the conversation about ratings is always kind of weird because you can't you can't pick the rating for your movie. It's a secret board that assigns a rating to you yeah, so. right right but going in that. but going in you have somewhat of an intention yeah. you know if you're gonna try go try to go for, for the pg-13 or yeah. try to go for the r yeah. Yeah. don't you and think the movie yeah. i think it's on netflix called this movie has not yet been rated is a documentary just about the rating system it's really interesting how it is just like regular people who decide this which you know determines hundreds of millions of dollars for the studio and like one lady's like oh yeah it's like a, some mom on the pta board is also doing rating shit like how is this happening like what is yeah who are these people it was a super and the thing is it's a super like secret thing like they don't really they don't say who they are you, you don't know who they are they're just it's a group that gets together and decide this it's so crazy my personal opinion i find uh, sometimes i'll hear about a movie and there's talk about like yeah we were really going for the r and i find that when a movie focuses on what rating they're going to get it's usually a garbage movie anyways sure that's sure. my opinion that's true right that's why i just say like it's you know, just focus on your movie you're gonna get whatever rating your movie yeah. gets the most i hear is people like for example that um Die Hard movie, like the fourth one. Yeah. How they said, if you don't say motherfucker, we'll give you PG-13. So they cut it out just for that yeah. one line, which I mean, it's an iconic line, so they fuck the whole thing up. But like, I think that most I hear about it is when it's like, oh, NC-17, but we saw tits. So they have to, 
they can't release an NC-17 movie. Usually, they have to get the R. So like, they'll do whatever it takes to get that, at least. But it's all weird. It's all weird. Um, all I know is I remember uh, the... the um, I remember they kept wanting to... Uh, when each of the Expendables movies was coming out, I remember each one they kind of went... Like, the first one came out, and that was R. Yeah. And it was extremely <laughs> graphic and, and whatever. And I remember they were like, we really want to tone it back for the second one and then everyone threw a fit so it was R but then the third one they secretly made it a PG-13 and man you see that movie and it's like it's all a bunch of creative ways of cutting around something happening yeah, and it's yeah. Like, you know what I would love here? to see if you really want to get obsessed with ratings go for an X <laughs> you can get an X rating and it doesn't have to be a pornography it could just be a it could just be an X rated movie because you know it's for adults only make the X rated, rated Deadpool then you'll have me in the seat whoa yeah Wow. Go hard. Are you guys tempted at all to see this movie that the reviews have been so good? No. Deadpool? No. Yeah. No. Absolutely we'll not. Oh, just checking. Just seeing if anyone I, uh, is swayed. I saw Guardians of the Galaxy, and I enjoyed it. But before that, I'm trying to think the last superhero movie I saw in theaters was maybe Spider-Man 3 in 2008. So you you saw Iron Man since that though I think was it's, Iron Man well, one after Spider-Man three? I think it was. Was that 2009? Yeah, I, think I it, don't. Then know. Iron Man, the first Iron Man. I think it was after. I yeah, could be mine wrong. was a second Iron Man. Um, so it's been a while. I feel bad too because I'm sure there have been really good superhero movies that have come out yeah. since then. But there was an era when they were all so fucking bad. I personally got burnt out and just lost all interest in superhero. Dark Knight movies. Rises was in 2012. Oh yeah, I did see. That, I did see. Yeah, I did watch uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. So I guess yeah. But you know what? Hey, that if was the last for one. Nolan directs next Avengers, I'll see that. Like, I need to like, have, like, some reason to go see these movies. And Christopher Nolan, I guess, would be that reason, so. Um, honestly, any legit director. Sure. Yeah, if, if Paul Thomas Anderson was doing the next one, I would see it. I would it. see it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, but no, no I, 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 yeah. So I'm not going to see, probably not going to see Deadpool. I'm sure, I'm sure that Beck is to the age now where I think he wants to see these movies, but, like, he was just a little too young. But he's getting yeah. to the age where it's going to be okay pretty soon. Mm. I'm sure I'll see them all really soon. I'm sure of it, but right now, if I they might not, it, they'll probably won't be making them by that point. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah. Why were we talking about that? Oh, because of our Deadpool video. Yes. Yeah, led to yes. That. Um, anyway. let's talk about. Thank you for being in that, Eric. Oh, you were Eric, really funny. You were great in that, and also, uh, that's why uh, Rocco looks all fucked up in our oh. um, our Fine Brothers video. Yeah, uh, uh, we know. had just we were right in the middle of making the Deadpool video, and we stopped to do the Fine Brothers thing. And, um, yeah. Yeah. That was the way my eyes look all sick. And we knew once we became the top thing on Reddit, like, Dev, Deadpool and Reddit, like, they love each other. And we're about to shit all over these new yeah. subscribers that we just got. <laughs> yeah, we were cracking up. We gained, like, tens of thousands of subscribers. It was like, well, they will soon depart. But <laughs> honestly, it looks like it hasn't happened. No, so it hasn't. Cool. They stuck with us. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. Thanks. Thank you.